Hello, hello, hello. This is Adrian Capricorn Tigris of Astrology Look Inside. And although it's four in the morning, I realize I forgot to do Aries. And um, I know I did one for Taurus at uh, the beginning of one of my readings, uh, my live show. But I don't think I did Aries. So Aries, this is for you. <laughs> This is the mid-May tarot reading and new moon in Gemini tarot reading, okay? Because the new moon in Gemini is coming up on uh, the 22nd of May and, um, you know, uh, it's going to be in Gemini at 2 degrees and the sun goes into Gemini on the 21st of May. So, it's going to be a lot of uh, Gemini influence, which is good, good for Aries. It's sextiles Aries. It's positive for Aries. So, it's going to be a good experience, Aries, I think, for some of y'all. Now, this is going to be happening, let's see. Uh, Gemini would be your third, let me make sure, your third house, Aries. It's going to affect communication. There was another sign I had. I thought it was in their third house, and it turned out it was in their eleventh house. And um, I was talking about what you know having the new moon in the third house would mean. So I'm going to go through that with you while I, I shuffle through these cards and get things ready for you. Okay. So the new moon in um, in Gemini is uh it, well it's gemini right so first of all regardless of what house it is it would rule communication of some of some form because gemini is a natural sign that rules communication it is the sign that represents mercury the winged messenger so literally mercury rules the sign of gemini and since it's happening in the third house, Aries, I think some of the Aries are going to have the gift of gab. Like, you guys are going to be able to talk to anybody. Now, the third house, because it rules communication, also rules sales. So, I think any Aries that need to either make sales or, you know, they're salesmen or, you know, they just need to promote or push their business or something now. Aries, your sales ability is going to be off the charts. I kid you not. Most likely. Most likely. I mean, it's a positive aspect. So, I mean, between the sun being in Gemini and the moon being in Gemini, and I believe we got Mercury and Venus in Gemini, I mean, my goodness. Wow, Aries, what a boost to you. Uh, really, and Gemini's too, of course. So, okay, let's go ahead. I no cards came out while I've been running my mouth. So, let's go ahead and ask Divine Spirit, please. Oh, show me clearly the cards. That, oh, that you have for the sign of Aries. What is that message you want us to share? What do you want to share with the sign of Aries? Show me clearly what we're sharing. Oh, with Aries. Wow, they are popping. Wow! Show me clearly what we are sharing with Aries. What is going on, Aries? Oh my goodness! Show me clearly what is... What to tell the sign of Aries. What is happening with Aries? Any other messages? Because a bunch came out. Anything else? I see a few want to come out, but... Show me clearly. I'm not going to... Oh, there it is. Anything else? Is that the last one? Anything else you want to... Oh, no, there it was. Let me see if I got enough cards, because my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. I feel deeply affected, because I got Aries Rising Progress. So I'm like, what's going on? Mmm. 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 
Lord, Aries. Whew. Aries, your first card is the Ten of Staffs. And this tells me immediately that we're dealing in a situation with somebody who feels like they've been putting in the work. They've been working hard. They've been building, working towards something, but they don't feel like they're getting it back. They're not sure they're going to get it back. And it, the reality is you may not get back exactly what you thought you were going to put in, but you've been working hard at it. You've been wanting it that, you know, you've been wanting to have this thing happen and it has not gone the way you want it yet, but you're, you should keep going for it. Like, don't give up. Don't push it to the wayside. Keep going for what you want. And I, my thing is, the next card was the three of, three of swords. You've been stabbed in the heart. Like, you've been working hard towards something, and you might feel like at the last minute you got, you just were not able to get what you were working hard at, Pisces. I mean, Aries. And I don't know what it is that you. That you, that you feel like you got stabbed in the heart, you know, that you got betrayed, maybe. Um, it could be a third-party situation uh, going on whenever I see this. Like, this, to me, when I see this, the tennis staffs and then this, it's like, I worked hard. I'm, I'm putting the words in. I worked hard on this relationship. I've done all this, and this is the way you treat me? You third-party me? You stab me in the back after all I've done for you? After everything I've done for you. But don't worry. Got the king of staffs. You know, the king of staffs or king of wands. This is a really, um, you know, it's fire, right? This is a, a, a fiery man. This might be a passionate um, exchange be between people. But... The King of Staffs makes a firm decision, an executive decision. He executes. I mean, this is a strong, fiery man. And I'm I'm I don't know what's going on in your relationship or with this this person, but you got the six of coins, which always to me is an indication that you have to give to get. Like the more you give, the more you get. If you give out something, you're gonna get something back. You put your hand out, gonna get something in it. I'm just saying, give to get. Then we got strength, the strength card. And I I want to uh, uh, read what it says here about the strength card in reverse. It's indecision and weakness. Indecision and weakness. And, you know, then we got this king of swords this is some, this is a man maybe, but causing trouble. King of Swords can cause all kind of trouble. You know, just cut you to the bone, man. So when the King of Swords comes up like that, I, 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 I'm not necessarily happy. I mean, because it could just mean that you're, you're, you know, you're cutting out something or you could be cutting to someone like in a negative way. And then you got the Knight of Coins. Uh, the Knight of Coins is, uh, is this the Academia? Hold on, let me make sure I got the right one. I think this is the one of Academia. This is learning something. This is learning something. Oh, no, this is the military one. Man of Honor. This is a Man of Honor. Someone who's willing to assist, someone who's dependable. A person of trust who will guide you and help you. Approach any task with great planning and organization. Ooh, and then you've got the Five of Swords in reverse. What? Usually the Five of Swords is the end of a situation, like something's ended. But in reverse, it's utter shame. This is the second time in 24 hours I saw the Five of Swords in reverse or utter shame. I very seldom have ever got that. And I'm like, what? You too? And then you got the devil after this other shame? What is going on, Aries? I mean, you could just be dealing with a Capricorn, but this is lies and deceit, deception of some kind. 
Oh, wow. It's negative. I mean, it could be a Capricorn, but it could be some kind of lie or deceit or deception or betrayal even. But you got it, it ends with this high priestess. So whatever is going on, the high priestess knows. Okay, the high priestess knows. The high the high priestess. Let me um give you this this reading for the high priestess. Okay, so this is what it says for the high priestess. Secrets. This is all about secrets again. Oh my gosh, hidden facts. Upcoming events, supernatural wisdom, learning, something it, something is hidden, something is being kept a secret, possibly by a female, double check all information, something is still hidden. Mysterious events, especially supernatural, may occur. And let me tell you something, that hidden thing, because then after the reading, you got two extra cards. One was the moon. The moon, this is another deception card, or hidden, or like, you know, it's hazy. It could be lies, deceit, all of that. And then the seven of swords. This is another card that indicates that you put a lot of work in and you didn't get a lot back. Hold on, let me read the Seven of Swords to you to make sure I say the exact words that they have here. So you get it, okay? Seven of Swords. A card of industry and hard work. Diligence. Sometimes a visionary. To gain here, much work is required. And in the end, the effort may not pay off as well as hoped. Do not take the easy way out or trouble may follow. Results and products of your labor. Okay, that's reverse. So anyway, you can't take the, the easy way out. And the funny thing is, it's like you put in the work, right? And you're not getting, a, not. it's... You got to put in a lot and you might not get a lot back, right? So that that's that card. But this Ten of Staffs is very similar. This is the card of struggle. So what bothers me is that you end it with the card of struggle and you end it with you have to put in so much diligence and hard work and might not get nothing back. Because the Ten of Staffs says is a card of struggle that will be followed by success or triumph. Uh, depending on its surrounding cards, it can be a card of, of trickery. So this whole reading has been about deception and trickery. The whole thing. You will succeed after struggle. At times, the difficulty seem far too much. But you must continue. Like, literally, there's so much trickery. Like, this, even this seven, it's like I had to put in all this work and I thought I was going to get it, but I didn't get it. This, this is just trickery from the very get. Like, I'm, I'm actually in shock, like, how much trickery is in this. So, I'm going to break this apart like I normally do, but, you know, like, I'm just going to go trickery. Trickery. Okay, there we go. This is so much trickery. It's like, are you kidding me? So much lies and deception. Deceit. Oh my gosh, like I, I don't understand why there's so much lies and deception. I think it's freaking me out a little bit because like what the heck? I mean this whole reading really just smacks of it. Lies and deception. Lies, deception, and trickery. Utter shame. Oh my god. Here you got two kings, the king of swords and the king of staffs, and the knight of coins. Uh, you know, the, the knight of staffs isn't too bad. Uh, you know, the knight of coins is uh, learning. You're going to learn whatever's going down. You're going to learn. This is, this is a time of learning. You might even be going to school to learn, but be aware of trickery. So make sure you watch your money. I don't know why. Got that vibe. Careful. 
So I, you know, I like to read these cards in reverse, the, the major arcana. Sometimes I get a different meaning or a whole different vibe when I do that. And so I'm starting here with this moon here. It's it's uh, lies and deception. It's trickery. Lies and deception. I mean, you, what you might think is there ain't there. What you might believe ain't right. What someone's telling you might not be true. It's trickery. It's lies. It's deception. It's deceit. And again, you might pick up on something like that, lies and deception. Uh, but you know the truth because some words spiritually deep down inside, you just know. But there it is again, more lies and deception. That's that's Capricorn, but that that is like deceit. That's lies and deception again. That's being lied to. You might, you know, you might have to put an end to whatever this is because this is... This is this is dirty. This is evil. This is lies. People talking about you, and then you had to strengthen reverse, Lord. I, I, I so seldom see the strength in reverse that I, I literally blanked it out of my mind that fast what it meant. Oh, indecision and in, in, uh weakness, indecision and weakness. So on top of the the trickery, there's indecision and weakness, Lord. Look. Aries, I don't know what's going on. I would love to do an astrology reading with you. And then maybe we can do some clarification on the cards. But I would love to do an astrology reading with you. So I can break down what might be going on astrologically. As well as with the cards. Because the cards are just telling me trickery, lies, deceit. Trickery, lies, deceit. Something is going down. Okay. So... I mean, not to get anyone upset or anything, because it, it might just be a weird time, right? Who knows? But we're talking about, you know, the new moon being in your third house. And this basically is going to be affecting you for like the rest of the month. So um, you don't want anyone communicating and lying to you, uh, you know, tricking you through their lies or communication or maybe a letter or a bill or who knows it was filled with it okay lies and trickery so be aware of that be cautious be safe and you know take everything that's said to you with a grain of salt every single person even myself i mean take what you you, you need and drop the rest you know what i mean but be careful of lies and trickery all right much love to you stay safe um, many blessings. Now, if you haven't already done so, like and share our videos and then um, subscribe to the channel. Um, also, um, to order a reading, you can go by our website, which is astrologyalookinside.com. That's astrologyalookinside.com. Um, there's a quick order page, which is astrologyalookinside.com slash order, where there's a drop down. Uh, of our top couple of readings and also donate button because I do accept donations. I love donations. Thank you in advance for your donations. I mean, it is the time of COVID, so every donation helps. Um, also, we have our shop page, which is astrologyalookinside.com slash shop. Um, and uh, there's a variety of things there, uh, digital products and readings and kits and all kinds of stuff. So do go buy our shop at astrologylookinside.com slash shop. Now, one of the other things I've been telling people is that, you know, I'm getting a little bit more popular. And so my calendar is filling up because I got a lot of different projects. So in order to guarantee that you can see me within a couple of weeks, be you know, you might want to go by Calendly and order directly out of Calendly because it gives you an opportunity to choose the, you know, one of the earliest appointments. So by doing that, you would go to Calendly.com. That's C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y.com. Calendly.com slash astrology look inside. And there's a variety of readings and trainings and things like that there. You can choose from, choose what you want, and then uh, go ahead and schedule your appointment directly yourself and you bypass having to wait to do that. Okay. All right. Well, much love, much like many blessings. Thank you so much for your support. No words really to express my gratitude to you all. 
Thank you, Pisces. And I'm not a uh, Pisces. I keep saying Pisces. I wonder, Aries, if you're going to have some deceit from a Pisces. I've said Pisces twice in this reading. Just pick that up. You might be dealing with a Pisces. If so, watch out for lies, trickery, and deceit. Okay? Okay. Blessings to you. Bye.